Welcome, my name is Sam Gilmore, founder and creator of Thinkless Teaching. At Thinkless Teaching, we want to give you a little bit of insight of how I implemented unsolved mysteries into our own classroom. Ever curious how the pyramids of Egypt were constructed, especially without the tools and the technology that we have today? Well, during the STEM Innovation Project, your students will gain perspective not only how the pyramids are built, but they'll also get a feeling of the teamwork and the struggles that must have had to happen in order to build such beautiful pyramids. So, what do you need for this project? First, as you watch the video, your students will be put into groups of three or four, four if possible. Next, they'll be given 10 red Solo cups, one strand of yarn that is 12 foot in length, and one rubber band. Now, if you're doing this with a younger group, you might provide scissors so they can cut up their yarn. For my older group, I did not. I made them understand and made them figure out that they're gonna have to rip the string into four equal pieces. Next, what they'll do is they're gonna to have to work together to develop a method in order to pick up cups without using their hands. In the video, we use what's called the centerpiece method. Each group member will get a number, one through four. They'll work by themselves for, for two minutes to brainstorm an idea on the brainstorming sheet within their packet, an idea or a method in order to take these tools and develop one that will allow them to pick up their cups without using their hands. Next, what they'll do, there'll be a stop point within the video and you'll give each, each member 30 seconds to share out. That is why it's important to number your students one, two, three, and four. You let the ones talk first, share out their idea for 30 seconds, twos, threes, and fours. Once everybody has had a chance to give their input, they'll all work together for 15 minutes to develop a tool that will allow them to pick up their cups and develop a pyramid like such. So, to give you a perspective on what this tool should look like, what they'll do is they'll take the string and rip it into four equal pieces. Next, they're gonna tie it around the rubber band that allows them to spread the rubber band out when they work in a group of four. They'll set it on top of a cup, suction cup it to a cup, pick it up, and start stacking them. This takes ultimate teamwork and is a great icebreaker, especially to start the year out with. Not only will they understand how the teamwork that must have been necessary in order to build the pyramids, but they'll also develop a poster within this that allow them to research theories and ideas of just how the pyramids were built. We truly appreciate you watching this and hope that your students enjoy the STEM innovation activity. Thanks for your time.